this video I'm going to show how to install Stable Diffusion in Anaconda and Windows 11. But first I want to quickly show what happened when I tried installing it on a clean system using the batch files without Anaconda installed. So to find the files I'll use, I'm going to search for Stable Diffusion GitHub and it will return the web UI version as the second result, so that's the one I want. Now when I scroll down to read the installation and running section, it will provide instructions on using NVIDIA GPU, which is what I have, but it also links to dependencies you need to meet in order to run it. It requires you to have Python and get installed first, which I don't have on this system because I'm currently using Anaconda to create and manage those environments. So back to this automatic installation method provided on the GitHub, it gives me a link to download a zip file with batch files that automatically install everything, which I will click on and then after the page loads, I'll go down and click on the sd.webui.zip file to begin downloading it. Now I'm going to speed through the rest of this installation because I just want to show what happens when you go through these instructions without having Python or Git installed first. The first error I will get after it's done running is that Torch is not able to use GPU, so I'll close this window and try running the web UI user batch file the instructions inform me to use to start stable diffusion. But that will give me a message to let me know that Python was not found, so this will not work unless you have it installed first. So now I want to show the installation on a clean Windows 11 computer with Anaconda already installed, and if you need instructions on how to do that, there is a link to that video above right. I will again search for Stable Diffusion GitHub, and this time the project I want is listed as the third result. The owner of this repository is Automatic 1111, and at the time of this recording it was last updated 7 months ago. Now I don't see any mention of Conda in the instructions, so I'll just download the code by going up top right and clicking on the green button, then down to download zip. And after it's downloaded, I'll go up to the top right in Chrome and click on the folder icon to open up File Explorer to the zip file. Now I'll right click on the file, then go down and click on Extract All. And I'll just replace the download path to extract the files to a folder name stable in the root of the C drive, which will create that directory for me. I'll select Show Extracted Files when complete, click Extract, and then close the downloads directory and the Project GitHub page while I wait for the extraction to finish up. I'll also go down and click on the Windows Start icon and then up to click on the Anaconda PowerShell prompt I pinned to my start menu after installing it. Now before I continue, I'm going to move all the extracted files into the stable folder and then delete the empty directory they were in after they transfer over. So I hold down the control key and press A to select all, then press X to cut, then go back to the stable folder and press V to paste all the files over to it, and I can release the control key and delete the now empty folder. And with all those files in place, I can start creating my environment in Anaconda, so I'll need to change the directory which I do by copying the stable path, then typing cd for change directory in the prompt, and then I paste the path by simply right clicking my mouse. And after I press the enter key to change my directory, I can paste in my first command to create my stable environment with Python 3.10. I press enter and then it will ask me to proceed below, so I will press the y key for yes and press enter again. And after Anaconda is done creating my environment, it will inform me of which commands to use to activate and deactivate it. So I will copy and paste the activation command in and press the enter key, and you can see it will switch from the base to the stable environment I just created. Next I need to install git for this environment so I copy and paste this simple command to download and install it. And again I will press y and then enter to proceed with the installation. This process will take a little time, so I'm going to take a quick look at the batch file the instructions are going to have me run next, so I will do that by going down to it, and then right clicking and then going up to edit in notepad. I see that it's going to call another batch file, so I close this one, and then go down to find it so I can take a look at the next code that is going to run as well. This is how you can go through and look for malicious code, which you can also do for open source projects on GitHub. I see that Git is done installing, so I'm going to go down to this web UI user batch file and copy the name, so I can go over and paste it and type out .bat and press enter to run it in the Anaconda prompt. This will go through to download and install everything that it needs to get stable diffusion running in this environment, which may take several minutes or longer depending on your system and internet connection. And once it's done, it will automatically start and launch the Gradio app so you can start using it to generate images with artificial intelligence. So I'm going to test it by typing in robot dancing with a chicken and a horse, and then go over and click the generate button. And I guess this is what the default installation came up with, so I would definitely need to train this better using robot and horse images that I like. But that's for another video. The last thing that I want to show is how to start Stable Diffusion after you install it, but first let's see what happens when I try running the batch file outside of Anaconda. So I'll go down and click on the web UI user file, and it will warn me that Defender blocked the file from running, so I'll have to click on More Info, and then on Run Anyway. And I'll get the same message as before that Python was not found, so Stable Diffusion will only work within the Anaconda environment. 
So again, I will go down and click on the Windows Start icon and up to the Anaconda PowerShell prompt to start it. And the first thing I need to do is change the directory to where I have all the stable diffusion files so I just paste the same command I used before and then press enter. Now I will paste the command to activate the environment that I created for my stable diffusion installation, then press enter again, and you will see it change from the base to the environment I named stable, which I will then just paste the name of the web UI user batch file, press enter, and this will start my stable diffusion app up again. Hopefully this video has helped, and feel free to ask any questions that you still may have in the comments. Thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe for more quick and on-point videos.